Hello everyone, NavLabs here. Today we're going to be making this very simple score system in the Godot game engine, where you can see I can add, and as soon as I e exit the screen, you can see that it saves my score. I can continue to add, uh, save my score, and I can continue adding. So if you have some sort of simple score system in your game, and you want to save the high score, or something, if you just want to save the score in general, that's one way you can do it, and let's get right into making this. So I'm just gonna go over the uh, basics for the button and the label. So of course I just placed the label randomly, I place the button randomly. I'm using Kenny Bold. It's a font. Uh, it's a font. Uh, font file made by Kenny Assets. A really amazing guy. I'll leave the link for the fonts in general in the description, so you can download them and uh, hopefully follow along. But it's okay if you don't. You can see that the default text in Godot is like some Arial type font. So I just wanted to make sure that uh, uh, it looked a little bit more interesting than it usually does. So yeah, that's why I you decided to use a font pack. But anyway. Uh, let's get right into making this. You have to go to file up here and click new script. I usually like to uh, save all my stuff into a new file and this is basically what we're going to do. I already have something like that and we're going to get right into coding it. So once you make this new script, obviously uh, whatever you call it, I like to call it save script. And I usually like to save all my stuff into a, its own file or I, li I like to make a file by itself so I don't get any of the logic uh, messed up and I can reuse this logic later on. So basically it's going to say extends node because that's the base class. We're also going to go to our project settings. We're going to go to auto load and we're just going to make sure that we can double tap save script and add it as a singleton or a global script. Basically means that if I type in var hello equals hello and I go over here to my game scene, if I say glow, if I go to save script dot hello, it will print out save script dot hello and I can even show you. So if I go like that, I'll just print out. Oh, okay. Sorry. One second. If I go like this, then it will print it out. And you can see if I go to the output, it still prints out hello, even though there's an error because the error is on this line, line 10, but it still executes line 9 because Godot goes from the top to bottom. Anyway, that's just a, a simple proof. Let's get straight into making the save script. So there's three functions I like to start out with. Is file there? So we're just going to make a var bool or something, or var b, and we're just going to return b because we need to return the bool later on. So I like to make a func uh, for saving. I like to make a function for saving a value, which doesn't return anything. And I like to make a function for loading the value. Uh, the function for loading a value doesn't take anything in, but it returns an integer. And usually I just like to say that uh, it will return the var temp. It doesn't really matter what you call it, but temp is just temporary variable. And that's about it. These are the three functions you will need. And let's go over here to the top. What are some variables we need for this script to run? We're going to need two variables. A var path, which is... a uh, your path is saving something and it's just call it whatever dot dat, dat data file and if you're wondering where this is Godot will actually save this into your own local directory which is if you can see I have this in my this PC new piece in new volume E which in my E drive then I have um, a folder called a steam go to Godot project simple score system and it's actually over here it doesn't show up because dot dat isn't recognized by Godot as a file for handling uh, uh, things in the editor itself let's say you want to save your values in a more sophisticated area you can just use user colon slash slash that will take you to your app data roman godot app user data and then your project file system your uh, your project name and it will take you over here and you can see saving place dot that and it has basically re weird stuff in it because data files are slightly encrypted they can still be modified using a hex value editor but um that's beyond the scope of this video anyway well, we're, well, we should first set up uh, save values and load values. So, how are we going to how are we going to save a value? Well, we're going to say something along the lines of we're going to say something along the lines of file dot open, open the path and get ready to write. Uh, if you're wondering, we can also do write read. We can do read write, read write, obviously, but it's just better to do write if you're just writing. Don't do write slash read because that means you're also getting a value. We're not getting a value. Sorry, we're just putting a value into the file. We're going to store the variable value which is whatever we pass in, and we're going to close the file. Make sure you, um, make sure you close it because uh, there could be like a small issue if you don't. Um, I've never tried it without closing because I just don't want to get into the hassle of corrupted files, but make sure you close your values. Now we're going to set up the logic for loading a value. Well, it's about as simple as this. Well, we're going to open our file. We're going to get ready to read because we're loading a value. We're going to store our temporary uh, variable into this... Uh, temp variable and we're just going to say file dot get var get var is kind of vague and it only stores one variable at the moment if you store an array you can get more stuff from it but that's a different video altogether 
So we're just going to say file dog get var. We're just going to get this variable that we stored in and we're just going to close it and return 10. We also, I also really like to do something called is file there. Is file there basically asks if file dot is file there. Um, make b equal to true. The reason we want to do this is because if our file is there, if this file saving place dot that is there, then we want to say, okay, load the value. If it's not, don't even try to load the value because then you'll run into an error. This is where we have to set it up. So in our ready function, we're going to say if save script, which is the global variable, uh, global uh, file name. So save script, I can even call this like la la la, whatever. It doesn't matter, but we're going to be using save script. If, if file is there, then we're going to say score is equal to save script dot load value. And we're going to set the label text to that value. If there's nothing there, then don't set it. I can just show you a quick example. So if I delete this, it doesn't make a difference if I delete it or not. You can see that we're going to print no file there. I just want to print file there if a file is there. So no file there. Sorry about that. I made a small mistake. File exists. Sorry about that. Then we want to put in the path. So if file dot file exists and we give it a specific path, then set b equal to true and return b. So now if we run the scene, sorry about that error, we can see that it prints out no file there. If I, and it won't save this value either. Actually, it will save the value because at the very end of the script, we save it and I'll get to that in a bit. You can see that file is there and we loaded the value. So how do we load and save the value? Well, we saw loading. So if the file is there, just get the, just load the value from that script. So we're just loading the value again and we're going to set it equal to score and we're just going to set label text so it updates. But how are we saving it? So all nodes have, or most, I want to say all nodes, yeah? Yeah, all nodes or all nodes have these five signal ready renamed tree entered tree exited tree exiting we want to use tree exiting instead of tree exited if you don't know the difference just use tree exiting because tree exited is when uh your node is about to leave the entire tree, scene tree and the game is closing and everything is closing and it's about to exit it may be harder for you to save your value so just use tree exiting because before the node decides to leave the tree it will say wait i have to do one thing let me just do this one thing which is save script dot save value we're passing in our score which is the exact same score over here and we're going to say print exited well which means yeah everything went well we exited we saved and there was no issue so that's about it i mean i hope i explained that pretty well and you can see that now when we run our scene we get add the file is there we load it up and every time i click add and even if i click alt f4 it exits well and we load it up we get 13 go again we get 19 and that's about it. I will be doing a different video in the future where we can save multiple things like position, score, time, whatever. But this is just saving one variable. Very good for simple mobile games, simple games in general, where you have to save one thing like a high score and not other things like uh, player position, player inventory. That that stuff comes later. But this is just a very simple, simple score system. Simple score system. That's exactly what the title of the video even says. Anyway, that's all I have to say for this tutorial. Have an amazing day.